Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch with Rush Truck Center, Greeley, Colorado. Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's here on YouTube. Just thought I'd do a quick video here to show you how to use an S-Bar heater, or what people call a bunk heater. This heater does not have to have the truck running. So I have uh, 579 here, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it down there, but the key is off. Heater is stopped. These things are really, really simple. What you want to do is make sure you got at least a quarter of a tank of fuel because the, uh, the suction pipe for this thing doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the fuel tank. That's more of a safety feature so that it doesn't run the truck totally out of fuel. So you got to have more than a quarter of a tank of fuel. These only use about a half a cup of diesel an hour. So on a gallon of diesel, you could go 32 hours. So all you have to do is push again. There, it says heater enabled, and the green light is on. I don't know why that doesn't show up very well on the camera, but green light is on. It'll stay on for 10 hours, and then it says uh, set temp is 90 degrees. I just bumped it up there so we can see that. If you pull the bed up or tilt the bed up, Show you the actual workings here. Ouch. Bang. So that's it. It's tucked down here underneath the sleeper. You can hear it kind of starting to make some noise. What you don't want to do, this this shield here is here for a reason. You don't want to get things right up close to it because obviously it's hot. But this right here on the end, and I can feel it. Down there in the end, that's your intake by that hole. And to set it back from the hole, don't pack things in there like gloves or coveralls or anything. Don't pack anything on top of this area here because uh, you could uh, wind up with a fire. And at worst case scenario, if you block this intake right here, uh, you don't get any, you don't get any air out of here. It's slowly starting to blow. So let me take you out back. It's starting to make a little noise. Just to show you. So when you walk up to the truck here, it's your sleeper door. You can see this is it right here. And there's that hole. Don't plug that. Keep even that open if you can. But what you don't want to plug is that area right there. That's the intake. Okay, and I put the tube up here. You can kind of hear it. It's starting to heat up. That's your exhaust tube right there. That's how you can tell if a truck has a bunk heater or not. It's got this tube. And you can start to see the exhaust there. So she is heating up. So I always kind of leave that pointing down so we can't get moisture in it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is running. So I just thought I'd show you a short little video on that. It's almost totally silent in here. And then you can see there where it blows heat from this module out into the bunk. So this area right there, just don't don't cover that up. Obviously, it's uh, yeah. Now we got some heat blowing really good. See if I can get that to focus. For some reason, it doesn't like to focus. There we go. So you can see it's enabled. It's on for three minutes so far. Nine minutes, fifty-seven. Nine hours, fifty-seven minutes to go. And it will heat it up enough in here to drive you out of here. So if you want to shut it off, heater stopped.
So the lights go off and this will cool down and go off. So I just thought I'd share that with you. When that light goes on and that, it doesn't like to show up on the screen. So my apologies. But that's how an S-bar or a bunk heater works. Again, have more than a quarter tank of fuel and don't block the intake on that. Yeah, it's calming down now. So super efficient and super easy to use. So thank you. Appreciate you watching. And there you can see it says it's stopped. It's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's Rush Truck Center here on YouTube. 970-691-3877. Thank you.